Real quick before this video starts, I just want to give a quick plug for the Twitter at Moongaze Studio, which is the official Twitter of the not yet real life production company Moongaze Studios that I set up with my YouTube friends Panikin, Declarations, and Jay and Ben of the Super Carlin Brothers. Since we obviously don't have the means of starting an actual real life production company, we just wanted to get this Twitter out there as a way of getting the idea out of our heads and into real life in some fashion. So if you would, please go follow at Moongaze Studio on Twitter and watch us figure out what the heck we're going to do with it. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of this vlog show that I'm still not sure what to call. I'm really liking this format. I like just being able to talk to you without having to spend so much time scripting it in between. It feels a lot more genuine, so I think I'm gonna keep doing it. And I will be glad to take your suggestions as to what I should talk about in this vlog show as well as what it should be called. But for now, we've got a show to do. So as many of you may know, longtime daily vlogging couple Charles and Allie Trippy recently decided to separate. Now this is nothing that's my business, nor is it anything that's your business. This is Charles and Allie's business alone. So I'm not going to make this video video about that. Instead, I'm going to make it about the questions raised by this sort of situation. And when I say that, I don't mean questions like whose fault was it? No, that's none of our business. I'm talking about the logistics and the ramifications that come with having such a public life. As YouTube continues to become more and more popular, there are more people who sign up for the site every day, and therefore more people who begin to create content for the site every single day. And one thing that people really seem to have latched onto in this creative content world is daily vloggers, people who just break out their small camera or their phone and film themselves in their everyday lives. And the thing that we're seeing are the positive side of these people's lives. They're not gonna film the negative parts because it's personal and they don't want to share that with thousands upon millions of people. And so what some people start to believe is that what we're seeing is the entirety of these people's lives, but we don't know what's happening when the camera shuts off. And the truth is, we're not supposed to. Despite what we may feel, we don't know these people personally and we're not entitled to know everything about their lives. Which is why I think it's important to give YouTubers their space when they're going through difficult times. Support them, yes, that's great, but do not try to intrude thinking that you have the right to know everything that's going on. And just for the record, I am not talking about anyone or anything in particular, I am simply sending this out as a general message to those who care about the people they watch. And having said all of this, it leads me to the question, is it a good thing that daily vlogging has become so popular? Should people be aspiring to share their everyday lives with the world the way Shay Carl has? And I'm no exception. Back when I first started out YouTube and I didn't know what I was doing, I tried my hand at daily vlogging while I was at school and it got me in trouble. But the bottom line is, you can do whatever you want to do with your YouTube channel and your YouTube videos, but as you've heard so many people say before, think before you share. And for those of you who don't make videos but watch them, please do not feel like you are entitled to know what is going on in these people's lives. It's good to care, but it's not good to intrude. So in the end, even though I don't know them personally, I just want to send as much love as I can from me to Charles and Allie, and I want to say that we as a community should support them in whatever decisions that they choose to make. And that's really all I have to say on the topic. Moving on to some more lighthearted news, a few weeks ago I asked you guys to go on my Tumblr and vote for what YouTuber you wanted me to make an episode of A Brief History on next. And I just want to say this was not even a close call. With over 200 notes, Hannah Hart demolished her competition. Literally no one else even came close. The second highest with just over 100 notes was Kick the PJ, which I was, again, a little bit surprised about. So not this upcoming episode of A Brief History, but the one after that will be on Hannah Hart. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who voted on Tumblr, left suggestions in the comments, or even just watched the video and then went about the rest of their day. All of you are incredibly awesome, and I love you. And as for what I'm currently working on, I have finished recording a brief history of Sonic the Hedgehog, and I just filmed the big Vlogbrothers-style Q&A video. That Q&A video will be coming out in just a couple of weeks, and so now I would like to employ your help again to come up with some more questions. Imagine that you are a young, aspiring YouTuber who is at VidCon or Playlist Live, and you're attending a panel filled with all of your favorite YouTubers. What sort of general YouTube advice questions would you ask those YouTubers? Questions in the same vein as what sort of camera should I use? How do I get people to watch my stuff, and how do I continue to motivate myself to create content? You see what I'm getting at? General YouTube advice questions. So if you have any of those, please leave them in the comments below, or on my Twitter, at Ryder Bergen, or on my Tumblr, footofaffair.tumblr.com, both of which are linked in the description below. I'm not going to tell you what exactly I'm going to use these questions for, but trust me, if all goes according to plan, you're going to like it. This week's viewer mail comes from Twitter user at underscore my chemical Dan, who sent this awesome Foot of a Ferret poster that they made themselves, and this Haley Williams poster, which I obviously appreciate. And Twitter user Brittany Bich sent me another vinyl record, this one by the Pixies. Brittany, thank you so much for the vinyl record, and at underscore my chemical Dan, thank you so much for the posters. I love them, and I cannot wait to get them up on my wall. If you have something you would like to send to me to put on the wall behind me, please send it to Ryder Bergen, P.O. Box 5403, States for North Carolina, 28687. And I'll see you in a week, guys. DFTBA.
Have any of you guys ever seen that Steven Spielberg movie, Super 8? Because I was at a yard sale, and I found one of these. This is an old Super 8 video camera.